Hello everyone, it's Adam here. We've got our uh, DCDS running on the MacBook. And uh, something I do about once a month is I run codes on the uh, Golf R. See how she's doing. Uh, some codes do not, they're not hard codes. They don't, um, they don't display. So uh, let's get in the car and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. As you can see, we've got our Rostec cable plugged in down there, or VADCOM as some of you guys call it. Laptop, just throw this guy in the USB port. I've legitimately, by the way, had people ask me why I don't use OBD-11. And I, um, they don't realize I'm a total Apple fanboy. I mean, I even bought a copy of Windows 10 so I could run VADCOM. Um, so no, I don't have, <laughs> no, I don't have an Android phone or Android tablet to run OBD-11. So uh, I prefer it this way anyway. All right, so we're going to auto scan. So uh, I have no, I have no um, uh, check engine light. I mean, this is this is the normal startup phase. You know that doesn't that goes away. But I have no check engine light right now, and I've got nothing happening. So um, there are hard codes and soft codes, as I call them. I don't know if that's a technical term or not. But basically, um, sometimes your car will have codes stored, but it won't display a check engine light uh, to the end user. It's just you know, German cars like to log a lot of stuff, and it's great for diagnosing uh, things, especially if you're modded. But uh, for me, uh, because of that, I, I do run VACOM once a month just to check and see. I think it's been about two or three months, actually. And in the past couple of months, I've had a couple of issues. So um, one of which was a um, uh, fully warmed up car, about 15 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, entering onto the interstate in, in third gear. I shifted. I'm in manual mode, so I shifted, um, up, up shifted. And um, instead of seeing, I heard a big clunk. And instead of seeing that I was in uh, fourth gear, I was in fifth gear. So I skipped a gear with the DSG. I don't know why, but that's something that kind of had some alarm. And later I found out it's, um, it's actually normal. Uh, or it happens sometimes. It's not normal, but it happens occasionally. And then another one that I, um, I had recently, and I posted a video of this about a month ago, was the exhaust making a lot of cracks and gurgles. And no one's really confirmed to me that that's a United Motorsport tune feature. I just started happening after the new downpipe. So I still need to go get a boost leak uh, check uh, on the car. Uh, what else is going on? Well, just a lot of very cold, cold starts. So maybe I've had some misfires that I don't know about. Um, the cars function pretty well. I had an issue one day when it was 20 degrees below zero. And um, I didn't get any code lights thrown, but the Haldex didn't seem to be working. So I, I, I gave it some gas and just the front wheels spun. I didn't really get any rear wheel spin. And then I was on the highway and like, I felt like I was sliding all over the place. And it was really weird as if the rear axle wasn't working. Uh, it hasn't happened either time. And obviously again, no codes were thrown. So uh, I'll stop now. Let's, uh, we'll look at this after the, um, this gets done and um, see what we found. That's a first I've never seen during the scan, the, uh, the indicator there says safe on the uh, trip range. <laughs> oh man, that's weird. Hopefully that goes away after restarting. <laughs> uh, so we're still scanning. We're almost done though. Uh, so once this finishes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate all of the uh, modules that have um, no fault code found. If there's no fault code found, then I will um, let's copy this. Just remove it because I don't I don't want the uh, the noise. So. We can get rid of this, this, no fault code found there, one fault found there, none there. So give me a second and I'll, uh, I'll come back to you guys with the clearly out. Okay, so one thing to note when you're looking through these logs is um, test it since memory cleared um, means that I actually had an issue. I cleared the codes and it hasn't come back yet. Um, so you've got fault frequency one. So this was an issue that I talked about maybe a while back, but basically back in uh, July, I was heading home from the drag strip and um, had just gotten my UM tune update from EFI in um, New Hampshire. And I was a cruise control for about 30 miles and um, basically the turbocharger, the power turbocharger went into limp mode. So no turbo, turbo power at all, the turbo wasn't spooling up. So the ECU basically uh, stopped sending anything to the turbocharger. So I was just kind of running on fumes. So I pulled off, um, had the laptop with me, cleared codes and uh, came back on. It's worked fine ever since. So 
This is a weird one. Uh, I'm glad that it's a hard store because uh, I do eventually one day want to get that fixed. Um, you know, most part of the time, told me they were working on an update for this. That was a known issue. So I need to just go back and get a fix. But I don't go to that part of New Hampshire very often. So that one is uh, known to me. Uh, what we got here? Climate control, fresh air blower, refrigerant, pressure and temperature sensor. Sender. Two faults found. A missing message intermittent freeze frame. I don't know. It's functional limitation due to energy management. This was when? December 11th at 7. So I was on the way to work. And January 21st. So yesterday at noon, uh, something happened here. I'll have to look at these two, but I'll clear the codes for now. See if they come back. But uh, we've got another... Uh, confirms the test has been already clear, so maybe it's uh, maybe it's no longer an issue. But uh, we had some issues here. It's off, off. Energy management deactivation stage one. Very weird. I'll look at those. Okay. Um, nothing engine related. Really, mostly concerned about engine related issues. Central electronics unit for wiper motor and the rain light recognition sensor. Uh, the bulb for left side marker lamp, um, open or short to plus, and then lock module for central locking rear right, electrical failure. And then this was at uh, 718, oh, these are old codes. So on July 18th, then 1229, and then July 28th. So recently we had this issue. Uh, now, what I think these are the problems was uh, with this one in the middle, uh, I know that I had issues with my battery dying, so it's possible that, um, you know, I started using the uh, battery tender since then, and I haven't really had any issues with the battery. Sound system, electrical failure, cooling hand for housing, um, January 10th, 2018. Again, very, very cold day, so it's possible that um, it was just cold related. And then on, this is the last one here, I think. Headlight range, that's an interesting one. So on 121 yesterday at uh, noon, we also had an issue with headlamp power output stage. Output stage again, missing message. Very odd. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here. I'm going to uh, close this. Once we go into OBD2 functions, we're just gonna clear the uh, codes. All right, so that'll be it for now. You can do another thing if you want to, but um, for now, that's what we're gonna do. So um, gonna look at some of these codes and figure out what's going on. Could be just related to the super insanely cold weather we've been having, like literally 20 degrees below zero and more on some days, with in some cases I had some dead battery happening. Um, but for the most part, nothing here that's too major. The only big one was a turbo actuator failure and UM confirmed it was an issue that with their code. So uh, that's something that hasn't happened since then. Um, but yeah, things look good. So thank you for watching, guys. And this is how you read and clear your codes on the VW with uh, VATCOM and VCDS.